Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Observer. In the last episode, we uh, we did some, we we jacked into some guy who was, I don't even know, he was high on something, half dead. When we found him, uh, he's he's got no intestines and good times. Um, so hopefully we can continue on with episode four and figure out what uh, what happened to intestine guy here. Let's uh, keep going. Hmm. All right. Uh, you know what? Let's scan this guy. Okay. So we got that. Voice box implant. Not uncommon among long-time feed addicts. Okay. It's the only thing that was keeping him alive. Artificial heart valve. Shit. Okay. Oh, what's that? Synchrosine. I will take that. Thank you. This. Controlled substance. Illegal sedative. Terrific. More feed. Some of the counter painkillers. The numbers on them might lead me to Amir's clients. Huh. Okay, so that would make sense. They would lead to his clientele. All right. Interesting. Okay, so I've written those down. And we'll uh, go to uh, apartment 112 and 209 in, in time. I'm sure there's way more things to figure out in there. Oh, that's just a shitload of blood. Check. Um, is there anything? Oh, there we go. Roar. Hey, found your shit, Jimmy. Another baseball card for me. Let's see. What's this? Oh, it's a computer. All right, let's read this guy's email. It's showing again. First off, as your intending tattoo artist, I must advise you to stop sending me these messages. What? If you think I have a problem, come see me at the shop. Secondly, the piece on your neck was healing up fine the last time I saw it. The accelerant worked as, and if, uh, wait, the accelerant worked and if it really is, as you claim, getting all messy, it's most likely has something to do with your incessant scratching and tampering. For the last time, leave it alone. Drop by for a checkup if you want, but do not bore me with your pretty, your, oh, your petty anxiety. I'm not a psychologist. All right, corrupted data. The last batch you brought in was partially corrupted and I've managed to salvage most of it. But like I said before, you said you have to give the decryption tool more time to break through their scramblers. If we are to keep this arrangement, you need to deliver on your end. This is sensitive data. Each distorted line of code means hours of additional work and my time is very precious. As I, I've said it before, and I'll say it again, software is undetectable. The only way you're getting caught is if somebody catches you physically interacting with the workstation. I know you're scared and I am well aware, and I am well aware of the risk in this situation puts you in. But that is precisely what I am praying for, or I am paying you for. Hmm. All right. I'm guessing maybe, hopefully, in someone one of these is going to have a uh, have a program we get to look at. Sorry, Hella. I know we go way back, but I really can't help you this time. I really wish I could, but even putting aside Mirror's ongoing health issues, <laughs> A.K.A. Stoner motherfucker. Um. The higher-ups have enforced a strict hiring policy. No C-class citizens, especially no ex-cons. I know Amir is not a bad guy, and he really deserves another shot, but there's really no way I can get around these asinine regulations. Again, I'm really sorry. If there's other and any other way I can help out, let me know. Take care, Anita. Damn. All right, so this guy's basically a stoner because his life got ruined, and now he's doing this thing. Huh. Oh, God. 
you'll take any compensation um all right guys so i think i said this in the first video these ones what i'm going to do is i'll scroll through them uh i'm not going to go through all of this i just pause the video if you if you want to read them uh, unfortunately, they're just a little bit too long. The, the emails, I think, are, are meant to be read. This is a little bit more if you want to delve real deep. CV. Amir Norwak. Huh. Compass. Date of birth, 2052. Strengths and skills. Team player can work with others, even if they're not like me. I don't care as long as I get the job done. Oh God, this is a horrible, horrible CV. Uh, anybody that doesn't know what a CV is, it's the, the uh, European term for a resume. Uh, human resource management can tell if someone's right for the, the right man for the job or just big talking big. Conflict resolution can make problems go away for good. <laughs> Oh my God, can work, resilient to extreme stress, can work hard when things get rough. Registered working experience is uh, a delivery appointment, I, or delivery, appointment ID, da, da 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 private sector, making sure stuff goes where it needs to, talking to people, oh God. Uh, sanitation, penitentiary, cleaning up the streets, did good there. Long shifts, even worked overtime. Oh, we have another copy of this. Let's see if we can pass it. Those bloody spiders again. Um, I don't see this going well. Oh yeah, no, I've, I've extra screwed this up. Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, let's try that again. That's not what I was expecting. I was expecting him to do that. to get that coin <laughs> I got double eaten um, oh you know what though I might be on the right track ah uh, no I screwed it up have to get rid of them. Oh, I've screwed that up. Yeah. All right. Maybe we'll come back to that. Um, oh, wait, hold on. Was there anything else? No, it's just that program. Okay. All right. Credit chip. Handy for storing off the grid currency. Can I keep it? I'd like to keep it. What if I have to buy something? Well, well. You must be Han. Hello. What else are we hiding in here?
but graphic frame. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, just, uh, you know what? Just his little commentary is quite uh, endearing. It makes this game a lot, uh, a lot better. Oh, there's... Uh... I guess there's not something up there. I just could open it for some reason. Through the plastic. Maybe a glitch? Maybe a glitch. There's nothing up there. Holographic frame. No. Anything? I don't think there's anything else in here. I think I've gone through everything. Huh. Man, this book. This book gets a lot of travel. Okay, well. Anthony. In the dark that I can't see, it doesn't look like it. Okay, well, um, tell you what, I'll send the coroner for you. Oh wait, what the hell? Lousy ink. Probably done in prison. <laughs> Lousy ink. What's this? is the one from previous victims. Yeah, he doesn't want to admit that it's his son. Blood. This. Oh, <laughs> never mind. That's his intestines. <laughs> uh, all right. I think that's, uh, I think that's everything. Scan this crap. Yeah, he's offline. Scan those. Um, let's uh, let's stuff another uh, synchrozine in our in our uh, in our arm. Injected. Strain level decreased. Well. Yeah, there's blood here. Mm, still fresh. Hmm, still fresh. Can I... Crime scene. Pursuing a lead. The victim's wife could still be in the building. Yeah. Maybe the neighbors know something. Definitely possible. Um... All right, well, let's check, uh, check 103. KPD, I'd like to have a word. It's about time you showed up. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Why are we under lockdown? Most likely a malfunction. I'm still looking into it. You ain't looking in the right places. Because I don't know nothing. I don't know Notice nothing. anything suspicious or unusual, other than the lockdown, I mean. Well, the couple from 104 were making an awful lot of noise a while back. More than usual, I mean. The girl ran off, and then it got quiet. Then it got Did real you loud. See where she ran <laughs> off to? I ain't one to snoop. But judging by the footsteps, I'd say she ran down to the courtyard. Anything else you can tell me about them? What? The couple? Don't know him that well. The girl seems nice enough. Not sure about the guy, though. Um, okay. 
Tell me about the guy or the chick. What about the girl? Oh, she she's a trooper. Works double shifts at Chiron to support that ex-con asshole of a husband. <laughs> Any idea what she might be doing for them? Can't be too important, or she wouldn't be living in this shithole. Yeah, really. Explains the look on her face, though. What do you mean? What do you mean the look? Worn out, fidgety, jumping at shadows. Working for the corporation has that effect. I guess. Hmm. All right, tell me about the guy. What can you tell me about the guy? Amir? I think he's called. He looks tough, but he's got the yellow eye, you know? Twitches like a junkie. Mm. Probably sells the shit, too. Yeah, he does. How do you know that? What, the dealing? I see him sneak around during the night, carrying packages and stuff. I doubt he's the goddamn postman. <laughs> I doubt he's the postman. Does this kind of stuff happen often? You ever see a husband get violent? Nah, nah, he ain't a wife beater or anything like that. He's just messed up. And then again, ain't we all? I guess you're right. Anything else out of the ordinary? Anything at all? Well, other than some asshole bringing animals into the building, I'd say that's pretty much it. Animals? Animals? Yeah, I could, uh, I could swear I heard something growling in the hallway earlier. I informed the janitor, but, eh, he'd lose the plot midway through the talk anyway. <laughs> Thanks. You've been very helpful. A nice guy, but... <laughs> That's new. <laughs> All right. Interesting. What? Impeccable sound recording quality, even under the harshest conditions. Huh. All right, let's see if anybody's home here. KPD, I'd like to ask you some questions. Certainly, officer. Always glad to do my civic duty. Bang, 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 open the fuck up. Um, you sure are calm. You seem pretty laid back. You do know the building is under lockdown. Well, yes, but there's not much I can do about it, is there? Mm. I mean, I'm sure the authorities are handling the situation as we speak. Come to think of it, isn't that why you're here? Uh... No. Uh, you, you might be giving the authorities too much credit. Officer, please! It's highly demoralizing to hear that kind of talk from a man of the law. Um... Now, is there anything else I can help you with? Yeah. Anything suspicious? Yeah, there you Seen go. Seen or heard anything suspicious lately? Neighbors acting weird? Actually, I did hear some noises coming from 104. Then the woman stormed out of the apartment and ran off. <laughs> yeah, okay, noises. What kind of noises, sir? Screaming, breaking stuff. I, I didn't think much of it. I mean, those two are always at each other's throats. Interesting. Uh, the woman. Did you see where she went? Well, no, I didn't actually see her. I could smell her, you see. What? Smell her? Don't tell me you can't. That cheap crap she pours over herself, the entire hallway reeks of it. She probably thinks it makes her seem ladylike. <laughs> got it. Thanks for your help. I could hear her panting, too. Moaning like the whore she is. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, biggest fucking cock tease you've ever seen. Always <laughs> toying with me, bending over when reaching for the lock, all naked underneath her clothes. She knows I'm watching too. She likes to what make me itch. The up with that junky fuck? meathead. I mean, what does he have that I don't? They're all like that, you know? Fucking mongoloid bitch. Now I hope she gets what she fucking deserves, so that she knows she's fucked up. She'll have no choice but to come to me, begging. But it'll be too late, you hear me? Too late! Um. Holy shit! I went off. That's okay, enough. I guess picture. Thanks for your input. <laughs> oh, uh, I uh, yes, <laughs> certainly. <laughs> input. Oh shit! All right, where to? Uh, well, I've interrogated the neighbors. Well, I mean. 
I guess we could try. Oh, it's middle mess. That is such an awkward thing. Oh, there's one more neighbor. Is there? Yeah, there is. Hey, KPD. Open up, it's the fucking police. Hmm. Okay. Well, what's here? Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. The the washroom that we don't want to discuss. All right, so I've interviewed the neighbors. Um, investigate the crime scene. Might be a good idea to scan the Nowak apartment for any additional clues, but I, I did that. Um, the dream eater showed me a glimpse of the tattoo parlor. Okay, so I'll go check the tattoo parlor downstairs, but I already did these two. Why aren't they, um... God damn middle must mountain unless they have another no they don't have any other neighbors yeah 104 is a corner I talked to everybody in this in this sector so 105 I mean I can knock on their door but I don't think anybody will be there Oh, no shit. Anyone in there? Can you repeat that? What do you want? You noticed anything suspicious recently? Anything out of the ordinary? What? I don't. I didn't quite catch that. <laughs> uh, Fine. You've been very helpful. Good night. The, the the stuff that I caught was fuck off. Ah. Okay, so this makes me think that I've missed something in their apartment because it's still. You know what? Let's go check their apartment. Because that removed... It removed the thing whenever... Uh... It's here. It's in here? Ah! Iron Corporation ID. Low-level clearance, but still valid. Okay, I've checked that. There's nothing in there. Everything's been scanned here. And that's the pillow. I think that's everything. That's that's everything biological at least. Okay, so let's check electronic. Oh, hold on. What's this? Credit chip. Oh, I think that's it, guys. What if I leave their apartment now? I'm just gonna... Let's just pull that closed. Okay, so let's... Uh, go down to the tattoo parlor. Makes sense, right? Um, just these stairs, I think, take us 
back to the courtyard. Yep. Perfect. Uh, that doesn't look good. That looks like some serious claw marks. Blood? What'd the case log say? Sickness and in health. Can I open your cat? Can I rob you? No, it doesn't look like I can rob you. Unregistered pre-war components detected. That's awesome. Personal computer. Recorder. Can I access you? Oh, I can access you. Oh, that's cool. I wonder if this is like the developer's tats. Like if they have, uh, like if their, their people have tats. Sick tats, man. Hey man, I saw some of your work you've done on my friend, Dave. And I gotta tell you, that's some seriously wicked ink. I wanna get in on some of that. I was thinking of doing an original design. Maybe a skull with flames around it. Yeah, that sounds original, fuck. <laughs> but get this, the flames are actually like animated and forming like a spider's web and on my elbow. Okay, this guy is absolutely out of his mind. I know, pretty out there, right? But with your talent and my input, it ain't nothing. Uh, so like, drop me a line whenever you, s I can't keep going. Drop me a line whenever you can, you can squeeze me in. I'm good for the money too. I mean, I'm a bit short on cash, but you take nutrient stamps, right? Again, love your work, man. Dope ass ink. Oh God, so this guy wants to pay in food stamps. Hello, I got the right address. Or, or I hope I got the right address. If this is not in fact the jacked ink tattoo parlor, please disregard this message. But if you are who I think you are, I was told by one of your former clients about your special line of tattoos. The high-end kind, if you catch my drift. Oh, f Okay, what kind, of, what kind of shady crap is this tattoo artist doing? My son would very much like to get one of those. In fact, he needs to get one immediately. I know it's expensive, but I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. Please contact me as soon as you read this. I wonder if this guy's doing like some under the table mods or something. Um, I know you've told me not to contact you again. And like I have like I have deleted all our message history just like you asked I only wanted to thank you once again for your the work you've done on my wife the tattoo turned out to be a thing of beauty she literally cannot imagine life without it you're a real lifesaver rest assured I'll have the rest of the money delivered by the end of next week yeah this guy's doing some some shady shit hey this is uh, Amir's head Such a cool tattoo. Damn. It's animated. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's pretty cool too. Neat. Okay. And then more uh, more fire. Um Yeesh. Oh my god, you need to collect everybody. Oh, uh, no, I'm screwed. Yeah, I, the second I came down there, I was like, I saw what exactly what I did wrong there. Oh, 
Oh, nope. Huh. Um, no. How? Wait, how do you do this? Oh, I bet the sword is a decoy. I bet the, sea, the sword's a decoy. You don't need to get the sword. Yes, you do. Hold on. No, no. You, you need to get the sword. But the second you get here, you're screwed. I don't know how to do that. No clue. Oh, you know what? Yes, I do. Just thought about it. You pick him up now. This is how you do it. There we go. Sword to decoy. That's what it is. Sword to decoy. You made it. Um, let's... Check out four. If I went around and come back down and then come here. Hmm. Let's try that one more time. guys I'm back Let's see, uh, let's see what we find. Oh, this isn't good. My timing is really off today. <laughs> oh, poor Helena. Lazarski, 656210. We have a third victim. Time of death, about an hour ago. Starting forensic analysis. Shit. And with that, guys, we're gonna wrap up episode four. And in episode five, we'll uh, we'll take a crack at uh, what happened here and start investigating the the forensics of the, uh, the murder. Man, three victims. Let's see what we can do. Thanks for joining us, guys. Have a great night. Cheers.